Angela with Trippin' 2 Up. I'm John. And we're here to teach you how to motorcycle camp. There's so much to see and do out there. Let's go have some fun. All right, <laughs> Trippin' 2 Up. So on this trip we stopped at a great Mexican food restaurant on the west side of South Fork and then we headed on to our campground. We hope you guys enjoy this movie and we've enjoyed making it. If you do, just be sure to smash that like button for us. So we're headed out of South Fork and up to the summit of Wolf Creek Pass. This is a beautiful drive. Hey, we're coming up on a tunnel here. These are still fun even after all these years of riding. It's curious, when I first get into them, they make me feel a little bit dizzy, but we just enjoy the excitement of seeing that and then the blinding light on the other side. And Boom! Here comes that big blast of light I talked to you about. It's always your eyes just take a little while to adjust, so be careful. So, one of the things about Colorado over the last couple of years, and you'll notice in our videos, is there are a lot of dead trees. And uh, the beetle kill has really devastated our forest. But, and this isn't actually a tunnel, it's a snow shed but it's still kind of fun and we're coming up on the summit of Wolf Creek Pass notice the dead trees here it's just devastating hey, there's the sign of rules it's telling you there's a lot of switchbacks and hairpin corners to be careful and here always is our view of the runaway truck ramps that are in Colorado this one looks super scary because there's a corner you have to hit before you go up the hill. So this drive shows Colorado is a playground for everyone. We had some great weather, lots of people are out playing and enjoying it. And we want to show you the Forest Service campgrounds are just so wonderful. If you come up here, explore the great outdoors through our Forest Service campgrounds. This is the road going into East Fork Campground and there we're parked and ready to go. It's a really nice space down here. We've enjoyed it a lot. Just off to my right here, there's a deep ravine and there's a creek down there. We stayed down there all afternoon. It was so cool. It was just nice to enjoy the water. We had a great afternoon. We have had a couple of problems on this trip. And one of them is our handy stove that we've had about 10 years now just refuses to work. I put some new parts in it, thought we had it, still not working. So we're being big coffee drinkers. We're kind of distressed about how we're going to solve it. Here's what we did. We uh, have some water here in this water bottle and we filled it with tea bags and we're just gonna let it steep all night. So this is like super tea. And in the morning, this will be our, our caffeine blast as we ride out of here. So we solved that. Number two problem we've had here, it does have a pump here with a well. However, the water tastes terrible. So we always bring our life straw system with us. It's hanging on the tree over there. We are drinking amazing tasting creek water. It tastes great. The well, we ran it through the filter, it still tasted weird, so we didn't do that. The third thing I wanted to talk about is, Angela just bought me this amazing new chair to camp with. So, for many years, we've used these very uncomfortable chairs. They're not, there's no back on them, they're just not that cool. This thing, however, is amazing. 
and it's so comfortable to sit in and uh, I've just enjoyed the comfort and the size and the weight of it. This and this are probably about the same weight. This actually may be a little heavier. So uh, we have a we have a great upgrade to weight, space, and comfort here with this. Anyway, hope you enjoy this uh, segment of the video. We've had a great trip out here. South Fork is always beautiful, and there's always people in the background. So here we go. We spent a couple of days at this campground. Here we are, we're driving out. You can see they're just, they're still pretty foresty. It's just really a great place and lots of beauty to behold. And we said goodbye to the host as we drove out and she was very friendly. And again, this is the road a couple miles back to the highway that we have to take. This is one motorcycle trip we took that we were not plagued with any bad weather. It was beautiful coming and going. This sign points to Treasure Falls. Uh, we have explored this before. Well worth a stop and hike back to a beautiful waterfall there. And I just want to mention all you motorcycle riders out there in the morning, uh, there's often rocks laying in the roadway from the night and boy be careful of those things, they can really cause an accident. We're coming up the west side of Wolf Creek Pass. What a beautiful ride, beautiful weather. Uh, we decided to stop at the summit from this side so we didn't have to cross traffic and take some of those typical we were there pictures. So there's lots of camping in this area, Wolf Creek Pass, South Fork, Pagosa Springs. There's even the big RV parks if that's you want a little more social. But again, we really like these forest service campgrounds where you can get out and enjoy nature. So while it was a great trip, it ended on a bad note in that I got a bee down in my jacket and it bit me five times. Uh, but you know what? You take the good with the bad and it was still a great trip. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. We love showing you the beauty of motorcycle camping.